Hello, I'm OBX Toycat, and welcome back to episode 233 of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. A Let's Play where we've been playing for the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the Xbox 60, building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And this episode, uh, for the last few episodes, I've been doing lots of crazy stuff going around the place. This episode, I'm going to be working on one of the big kind of defining projects of the world, because it's something that I've been slowly working on for the longest time, and I need to do some big piece of work, and I figured this episode would be a good opportunity for that. So, the big thing I'm talking about is the insane sugarcane farm goes from bedrock to sky height probably one of the biggest built in minecraft ever and there's good reason for that because you really like one layer of this covers most of the sugar needs you need uh having the whole thing means that there's there's impossible to harvest this whole thing at once i bet with eight people when it's done it's still not going to be possible even with 16 i doubt it would be and i figured yeah that what i need to do is i need to work on a key part of this and that key part is uh, actually an ending point because i've just been slowly expanding and expanding expanding this thing and i realized at some point you can't just keep expanding like because it's been working progress uh, work in progress for so long it kind of doesn't have the right look to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually start the finishing part of this so i'm going to start you know uh, like i'm going to have an ending point and i'm going to start that ending point now so that it's hard to go back and then i figured that'd be a pretty cool way to do things because then it would be more because you know from this side it does kind of look a little weird like you can see it's just the, the layers kind of as it is as it goes up it gets harder and harder and i just kind of stop but this episode i'm working on the final uh, like layer of this thing which will be over here so this means i'll have water drop all the way down there and it'll kind of hide it a little bit and that'll mean make it a little bit easier for me to you know kind of uh, work on it and it means that i'll be, always have the ending point kind of fixed in stone fixed fixed in stone set in stone and it makes it a bit easier in that general way so yeah the first thing we need to do is we need to use our silk touch pickaxe well we don't need the silk touch pickaxe but this thing's amazing uh, anyway uh, we need to put this back in the inventory, actually. Uh, so let, let's find this. Let's put it back and replace it with some dirt. And actually, let's pick up this ice while we're here because uh, it's it's a waste of ice, otherwise. Uh, but yeah, so... um. I'm going to be working on this layer, and I figure it's a, it's a, you know, just a lot of uh, doing something big that you might enjoy. But the main thing I'm going to be doing is talking about uh, you know, all the things I talk about in this Let's Play. So first of all, what I've been up to this past week. By the way, like that if you like it, that that like thing probably should have heard in the video. But yeah, just something that always helps out the channel. But uh, yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is what I've been up to this week. That's what I do in this Let's Play because it's kind of like a vloggy thing mixed in with a Let's Play. It's uh, it, I, I I don't know. It's just it's just something I've been doing for so long and it's evolved so much. But yeah, um, what have I been doing this week? So first of all. I finished college or yeah it's it's done as far as I'm aware now um uh, like until at least you know but what well, basically they give you a deadline and they're like it's like yeah you don't have to come in anymore and the, the thing about school uh, in the UK at least maybe this is just my part of the country maybe it's the whole world in general I don't even know but basically when it comes to the UK or where I live at least uh, whenever I went to school or something they'd always make fake deadlines to make you really serious about a thing and be like oh wow gotta get it in before that deadline but you'd begin to realise that they're fake deadlines so you wouldn't take them seriously so they try as hard as they can to make you think those fake deadlines are real and now I don't believe deadlines no matter how serious people are when they say them so that's the reason you probably shouldn't do that by the way but uh, besides, uh, I assume that I'm done with college now, which is a big, big thing, because that means I'm actually starting YouTube, uh, you know, full-time, which is, uh, you know, it's kind of been full-time while I've been in college, but this means instead of doing, you know, what is essentially part-time college with full-time YouTube, it, this is, this is going to be my main thing, and I'm obviously... Uh, rather than just uh, being like, oh, for, uh, more time to do less, I'm going to start expanding and doing some other cool stuff because I really like the main channel. Uh, two videos a day is something I've been enjoying doing. It does take, <laughs> it takes a lot of like, uh, you know, idea effort and stuff, but it's something I've been really enjoying. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start expanding the second channel content. So uh, I'm going to start some form of Let's Play on there. I don't want to promise it, but probably Fallout New Vegas while we wait for Fallout 4 to come out. And then as well as that, um, I'm doing a little bit of Titanfall Competitive. I just want to play some other games on that channel because people are always saying play other games. And for those of you who don't want to see other games, keep subscribed to this channel. You don't have to worry about it. But if you want to see more games, uh, the second channel is going to have lots of them. So uh, yeah, that's just something I like to offer. By the way, we're, we're making a surprising amount of progress here. I, I, I just, it's just it takes so much to appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, full-time YouTube, that's pretty cool. And second channel's getting started. And also, uh, I found this uh, this project that's like... Um it's dedicated to helping people learn things. Uh, it looks like I might be doing some other form of project on top of that. So it's it's a pretty cool thing because I, I really love uh, what I do with Minecraft. Like I love uh, when people... Ex uh, I, lo I love when I know I've made a video that people will leave and be like, Ah, I knew that new thing. Um... 
I don't know what why that feeling is so satisfying to me, but it is. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, I just because you know when people have the wrong things in their head, it kind of annoys me. And getting the right information across is something I really like. And uh, I, it's it's really cool that I get to do that. And also, that's what I might be doing. This new thing I'm doing, but I, I don't even know about too much about that, so I won't talk about it. Uh, besides that, um, let's talk about E3 because that's the big thing that happened this week. Um, and I wanted to talk about a lot of my impressions because if you're a gamer, you know E3 is like one of the biggest events of the year. And I assume you will play video games on some level. If you don't, then uh, basically it's a big conference where... If you don't play video games, then thanks for watching a Minecraft video. But if it's a big conference where they announce, you know, loads of the stuff... <laughs> okay, I need to I need to make, like, a safety... Actually, I could just put a bucket of water here and probably save myself. So I'll, I'll do that later. But yeah, um, I need to get back up there now. E3 is uh, the biggest, like, games announcement conference of the year. They announce a bunch of stuff. They have playable demos. They have trailers. They're, it's it's just a cool way to see what's coming, basically. And this year's E3 was probably one of the best ones, I don't want to say ever, although ever, <laughs> because um, it, it just uh, had loads of cool stuff. In particular, Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout, if, if you haven't played it, it's hard to understand why people like it, but it is one of the most, like, amazing games out there. It's a very, very crazy fun game oh i see what i did wrong so it's a very very fun crazy game set in a nuclear wasteland it's, it's cool and i'm gonna be doing a let's play potentially even on this main channel so that's um that's a cool idea right there too i need to eat so i don't die when i next fall off this thing um as well as that though the big one the, the big one i made a video on this one and a lot of people thought it was just as cool as i did minecraft for the hololens so the hololens is a device that microsoft announced a while ago that no one really cared about uh, but they did this uh, you know kind of press conference where they shut off a of minecraft and we didn't really know what was happening till it was and it was just the most mind-blowing thing because again no one knew what was happening it's like oh the hololens it's kind of like virtual reality but minecraft but you know that if you've watched that video it's just mind-blowing like you can project your world 3d onto like a real life world a real life object like a table or something and it's just you know it's crazy crazy cool uh but the, the, more importantly it opens up a lot of cool possibilities of minecraft because to me before that minecraft's one of the few games that wouldn't really benefit from vr because imagine right now this screen you're watching right now is what you'd see with your eyes like on your eyes of virtual reality i mean it's it'd be kind of cool it'd be a little bit more immersive but minecraft isn't a game that you pretend you're the character, you know? Like, I don't... Pre well, I do pretend I'm a cat, but that's a YouTube thing. <laughs> I don't pretend that I'm the cat and I'm I'm on my epic dirt fishing quest or something. To me, Minecraft doesn't seem like that sort of game. I mean, I, I could be wrong entirely on that one, but that's what it seems like to me. And I, I, I wonder... It, it looks so amazing with the HoloLens. Like, I really think Minecraft is the perfect uh, way to show it off. And I also think... Uh, the possibilities they feature Minecraft are really cool, such as you know, uh, voice com uh, voice commands uh, with the connect and stuff. I I'm just uh, I'm excited about the future of Minecraft. That's always good. Like I. I, I do a lot of Minecraft on my channel. I do play lots of games. But I like to make sure Minecraft's still the cool thing that everyone wants to see. And it's still the cool thing I want to play. Because, you know, it'd be the worst thing for me if I, you know, stopped being interested in Minecraft. And, good thing, that uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case for all. So, very good news all around right there. Um, other, th other, other things that happened at E3 was just, like, little cool game announcements that I'm looking forward to. Uh, and the big one, actually, I, again, this is never probably a news video thing. Is actually the fact that Bethesda um, announced that console uh pc mods on console and this is again so there's there's two things I, I, I play minecraft and i play console my channel two things that some sorts of people are like oh look down on that but the thing about uh the consoles is they've always had this kind of uh you know casual edge on the pc which is really really great for me because you know I, I as much as you know i like playing a lot of games i like having casual access to them but uh, a really cool thing about consoles is it looks like with fallout 4 being the first game mods on console is going to be a thing and that's such an exciting premise to me like the fact that, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's consoles being taken the next level seriously, and even without considering Minecraft possibilities, it's uh, it's it's nice. I like to see consoles getting their step forward. You know, they're what I grew up playing, and uh, it's what I'll... I was going to say it's what I, I'll die playing, but that sounds kind of depressing. So, uh, yeah, E3, good news for gamers all around. Um, I'm so excited about the future. Like, it's just one of those things where it's like, we're going to have crazy virtual reality lenses that can do cool things, and it's just like, I'm, I'm glad to be alive at this sort of time. Not that I wasn't glad to be alive before, but, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, the future is an exciting time. The future really is, like, it's crazy how much humans do, like, every single... Oh, there's just loads of blocks missing, and I bet it's because of creepers. But, uh, yeah, it's just crazy how much humans do every single year, and uh, E3 is kind of a thing about that. That's, that's why I love technology so much. That's Is that cat just... Yeah, there's a cat just stuck up there, but... Um, so I love to see uh, like all this stuff, and it's gonna be really cool. So, oh, another thing. Um, so this, a lot of people are always asking, what events am I going to? Was was I E3, for instance? Uh, is this, should that block be there? I don't think that block should be there. It it doesn't look like it should be. Um, but yeah. So um, 
A lot of people were asking, am I at E3? If, and, you know, where am I going this year? Uh, first of all, I'm going to Minecon in... Oh, wow, it's in like a week and a half now. Two weeks now. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm going to Minecon in two weekends' time, whenever Minecon is. Uh, I'm going to be there for probably both days, unless there's an update out, in which case I'll probably be there for like half a day. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. when an update comes out, that's an exciting time as a YouTuber. But... Uh, yeah, I'll be there probably for... Yeah, I'll, I'll be at Minecon, basically. I'm going to be at EGX this year. EGX is the Eurogamer Expo, one of the one of the biggest events in Europe. I think it's actually second to Gamescom, the other one I'm going to. So, yeah, if, you, if you're in Germany in August for Gamescom, or if you're in uh, Birmingham, <laughs> I think it is, in uh, September for... Uh, uh, yeah, EGX, then I'll be both of those things. As well as probably EGX Res Ed in London. I'm, I'm going, I, I want to go to a lot of the cooler events, because the thing about events to me is... A lot of people go for reasons I don't understand, but I really like playing games. If you're ever at an event that has lots of games, you'll probably find me playing a new game and stuff. So that's what that's how you can do that. And that's that. So it's getting dark, but I want to get all of this dirt used up before the night time. And uh, we've made some pretty serious progress. Like, we've gone from all the way down there to all the way up here just in today's video. Um, I And that's only halfway through as well. Um, and you also got a bam. Wow, that... That hole looks like it could probably... Oh, it wouldn't kill you because there's a thing underneath it. But still, it looks very dangerous. So we've got 12 more blocks. Let's place these uh, just along here, shall we? And, uh, yeah, let's uh, go back uh, to sleep. Which, by the way, look at that flower in the background over there. Do you see it? The flower over there. Okay, th there's more now. Uh, as I'm moving along, it's kind of glitching along. It's it's very it's very weird to look at. I'm, I'm going to stop looking at the flower before my sanity goes down the toilet. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, we're about... Actually, if we look on a map, we can tell. We are one-third of the way up <laughs> to the top, so we just need to do this three more times. The amount of dirt it requires is crazy. 360! Um, the amount of dirt it actually requires is crazy, but uh, that's still a thing. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to sleep. Then we're going to go wake up, and we're going to... Actually, we probably need a bit more dirt so we can uh, have the top thing done. And then... Okay, hello, spider. How's it going? You're dead, by the way. And then what we can actually do is we can have the water fall off. And that's a very satisfying thing I hopefully mentioned earlier. It's a, it's, a, it's it's really cool to just see the water drop down from, like, max sky height all the way down to this. And hopefully I don't break something. So I'll actually save the game first just to make extra sure. Because otherwise I will break the world. Because the thing about trying to get rid of that much water if it goes wrong. Because, you know, every now and then the water glitches. is It's just broken. There's, there's no solution. You have to spend literally hours of your time. And I'd rather spend 10 seconds <laughs> saving than waste hours of my time if something goes wrong. Uh, that, that's that's how I see it anyway. Uh, so we've got two blocks of dirt. We've got a lot of sand and not too much else. So should I use the grass block? You know, I'll, I'll just get some dirt. So the current project I'm doing to get dirt, at least on this side of the world, because I do have lots of dirt in uh, Chesso on the other side. But uh, on this side of the world, the current thing I'm doing is this thing over here. So there, there was a big ugly island in the middle of a lake over here. And because this is going to be a key part of my boat network, which it, it still technically works, but I just don't really use it ever. And maybe I should change that at some point. Uh, is it, There's this big thing over here. So... What I figure I would do is I would destroy the island. It was a pretty big island before, and I've done a pretty good job there. You can see it's a, it's a flat piece of ground, which I can now place water when I need to. And it means that if I need to go from one place to the other, it's going to be a lot faster. Because previously I had to go all the way around the island, you know, especially since the slide is over here. It was just a long, uh, tedious project. So we're just going to get maybe a stack and a half of dirt. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, because, yeah, we have iron again. Uh, we only have, like... 10 ingots, but uh, still, I've been using so much iron to make beacons that it's, it's it's nice to be back to just doing what I like to do. So, there's also a tree here I might chop down. But hopefully you, you see what I'm, uh, I'm I'm trying to achieve here, and that's pretty cool. So, one thing I was thinking about with um, virtual reality, it maybe even real life, is uh, I, I probably mentioned this concept before because there is a, uh, a, a video out there that's like a concept for this. But basically, it's called... Um, I don't know what the actual... It was, and it was an April Fool's joke from maybe Ray, Razor, where it's like they'll get a drone to fly behind you with a camera, and then you just, you know, put the lens, uh, goggles on, and then you can play live from third person. And imagine... Okay, this is real life right now. You, you punch with your right hand. And imagine doing this in third person. Something like... I don't know if I'd love that so much or if I really wouldn't, because, you know, it's what it's what little me wanted to do in video games all this time, and now it's possible. So, uh, yeah, we have actually ran... Uh, we have all the dirt we need, but we'll make another shovel. We'll break it in, and then we'll go back to the... Play wow, I found clay under here. What is clay doing here? That is so much clay. Okay, that's a surprise. That's very... Oh, I guess because the water's just there, it technically is bordering it. So let's, let's get all of the clay. Wow, the... <laughs> there is just so much clay for me right now. Okay, there we go. Now I'm getting bombarded by water. It might even drown me. That'd be pretty terrifying. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of free clay. I am a big fan of clay because it builds bricks and stained clay, which are both pretty useful. And uh, yeah, clay is a, one of the most limited resources you can have in your world. Uh, like in reality, most people will run out of clay. If you use it for any big project, you'll run out of clay at some point, which is 
Kind of sad to think about, but it's just the truth, unfortunately. So yeah, let's make sure we get as much of this as we can. Because I bet some has gone to some sneaky places. Yep, there's one over here. And yeah, that was an easy stack and a half of clay. Stack and a bit, even. So uh, yeah, now let's just get a few more blocks of dirt and let's go back to the sugarcane farm. But yeah, playing, I, I don't know if uh, life in third person would be cool or just really confusing. Because imagine, you know, just being like jumping and seeing yourself jump. You'd, you would never feel self-conscious because you can literally see yourself. You'd be used to seeing yourself in third person. And uh, there could be something cool about that. Or maybe it'd be weird because, you know, imagine uh, behind Toy Cat right now there's a big drone. Wouldn't that be weird to see the drone too? Unless maybe you wouldn't. I, I don't know. Maybe seeing other people with drones would be like, oh, that person's in third person. That's weird. Or maybe even cooler yet, you, you put on a drone... Uh, wait, you have a drone fly behind you, you put on the glasses, and then you just do what people tell you to, and then they can watch you in third person. Then it's kind of like a TV show, but the, the, the entertainment's of people. I think there's a Black Mirror episode about that, but uh, <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's go to the top of this thing, which I think is going to be a long ladder climb. So a few ladder blocks got blown off. I, I'm really bad at fixing things when creepers blow things up. Like, I kind of just accept that it's blown up and be like, well, I guess I don't have access to that for a while now. Uh, that's something I probably shouldn't do. Uh, so yeah, I guess we can have a snack on the way. We can examine the map if we want to. So if you've ever wondered what my Let's Play world looks like, this is it. And down there at the center where the two big horizontal lines meet and there's a big splodge of water and a single red dot, that's where my house is. And the red dot is a lava pit. Um, that big, <laughs> the, 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 the big square I'm facing, that's a cobblestone cube. Uh, next to it, there will actually be a Neverack cube and that'll be pretty cool. Um, the, the, the next big cobblestone splodge down there, that's a castle, which I never quite finished and don't really have any motivation to anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, and yeah, <laughs> wow, so far up. Uh, all the way at the top we go. Oh, uh, you can see actually above me the, how beautifully square that flat ground area actually is. Like, um, I didn't really appreciate till just now how wonderfully square it is. Like, you can see some of it's not filled in, but still, just over here... You can see down below me. It's 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 very very square. It's it's nice. I I don't. I should take. I should uh, look at the maps more because I I really don't appreciate all the different things that come with it. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. Um, as well as that, you can see all the ice. You can see the tiny snow biome, which clearly generated at the end of a chunk right there. And uh, you can also. How long has this single like climb taken? <laughs> like, you can see just how high up it is because this is world height up here. This is as high as you can humanly get. It's. Uh, even the mountains just look like tiny little things. It's it's a very cool view in the world, and um, as you can see from up here, we do indeed have access. So we need to have a staircase up, I guess. Yeah, let's let's make that a thing. Uh, so over here, I'm gonna have problems even like lining this up. I reckon. Is this is this level? Also, do you see that? I got a little bit of FPS dropping. Uh, we'll have a layer here. You know, just a. Oh wait, how? That can't make sense. Did I, did I miss out a block? Yeah, I missed I missed off a block. Oh, this this hurts my head. So let's make sure there's two blocks between each of these. There is, which means this is the final layer here. Okay, <laughs> and this is this is there's a lot of pressure on me to get this right. Uh, we don't need to do all of that right now. But what we do need to do is we need to have the layer above it. So we'll have a mini staircase. Actually, we could just have the staircase follow on from up here. So it'll be like up, oh, and then be an extra block this way, and then an extra block this way. And then an extra block up here. And then that's world height, I think. Wait, one, is there three blocks below it? One, two. I'm so scared up here because if you fall, it's like beyond comprehension how long it takes. Like, it generally takes a long time to fall off here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty funny. But yeah, let's uh, remove this block now so we can have sugar cane below it. That is one, two, three, which means this is the right layer for the thing at the top. And uh, I do plan to have a glowstone up here in place of this stuff. In fact, Oh, I don't have it with me right now, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely bring a lot of glowstone. But for this layer in particular over here, I can have glowstone be in the inner layer. Uh, we're just going to have water fall off here, and we're going to see if it breaks everything. Or we'll see if it just, it, sh it should fit per perfectly. Even, look at the cobblestone cube. That thing's a massive, daunting structure. But from here, it looks like it's, you know, pretty small. So does the Neverack cube. It's, it's, it all looks so flat from up here, and this, <laughs> it's so weird. Um... Also, the render distance is small. I, I, I haven't been to the sky, uh, the world height in so long for survival. I've, I've just kind of forgotten what it's like. Am I meant to go the way? Okay, I'm meant to go the way. I, imagine if it's even possible to line up these blocks. Like, is there any way of knowing how many blocks across from that block over down there I've gone to? I'm not even sure it is. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh, wait. This, this is going to be lots of glowstone because I do want to have this place lit up uh, just fine so I can go through here. And then we'll save... Just to, just to make sure, it'll take about 25 seconds. And then we're going to drop the water, and it's going to be magical. Very magical. Not just slightly magical. Not not just a little bit of magic uh, coming on every now and then. Really magical. 
At least that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Um, preparing chunks. Gotta be prepared before you can save them. I'm singing a song just to just because there's nothing else to look at besides the tutorial world at night. Uh, it's pretty funny actually. Uh, the, the menu screens kind of glitch. They're meant to be in the daytime. You'll see a daytime menu screen. At nighttime, you'll see night. But for some reason, it's always like inverted, and it's almost always night. It's I don't understand how it works or why it works, but uh. It's one of those glitches that's in the game. Also, I like that they do update the uh, the background screen every time there's an update. It's... Oh, my... Oh, okay. That was, that was some serious lag. And when you don't know what's happening, that's when you die. So, I did just save the game. Let's see... Let's let it drop. So, as you can see... I don't know if I, that was in the right place to put it, actually. Let's let's just watch it go down, I guess. Um, isn't... Like, it's just so magical. You watch it fall, and you, you're like, oh, it's going to hit the ground in no time. But it genuinely takes, like, <laughs> a minute or so to hit the ground because of how high up this is. So, um, yeah, that's that's a thing that's up here. Should I jump down into it? Let's do that. Let's watch it. Oh. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just so crazy to watch it that way. Um, yeah, we can see it's, uh, it's most of the way down right now. I think I did line it up just right. That's always good news to hear. And in fact, let's jump down into the water down here. Oh. <laughs> uh, without, without the thing slowing me down. It's kind of uh, dreadful. So, yeah, let's see what happens as it hits the ground here. Is it going to be a success or did I mess something up? Oh, it hits and it's fine. So that means that it's now fine for me to go back up there, place the rest of these, and then have this water lead done just here. That'll be pretty cool when that's done. And that means that between now and next episode, I'm going to work on this, you know, getting all the dirt placed in between there and that means i can have this layer of it done too and it means you know outwardly facing it looks a bit better because that's the problem uh i'm always doing work in progress projects um and i like to have the design be a little bit better so um uh, yeah the, <laughs> the clouds go like so far from the top it's pretty crazy but yeah i hope you did enjoy this episode of the minecraft xbox update adventures let's play if you di did like it please do like the video and let me know it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it share it if you really like it and subscribe if you're new around here i make videos like this every single day on my channel as well as a let's play monday every monday that's why it's called let's play monday thank you for watching and goodbye